right here. On behalf of Dude Wipes here at the Gander 400, I am so American right now. Five Al-Qaeda fighters have officially blown up into oblivion. I am so jacked up to tear up NASCAR weekend like an absolute savage. I, let's go. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm extremely disappointed about the lack of drinking, the lack of absolute savagery that's going on. It appears to me that there seems to be a love affair with the, uh, the team that lost the Civil War, and I think it's mandatory that you don't have a dental plan here with a gum line looking like corn on the cob. These people look like they came out from under a rock. What's your name, sir? Robert Edmiston. How about booze? What are you drinking for today's event? Bud Light. Bud Light. Do you pee sitting down? Say what? So, where do you keep the dead bodies? Come on back. This is a meth lab. I'm going to be pissed. Let me ask you a personal question. How many times have you delivered an injection of genetic perfection on that bed? Uh, me, none. None? How about excessive angry masturbation? I need one of these. We'll call it the thrill ride. Making booze here? Well, we don't make it. We buy it and bring it. Well, yeah, but this is where you mix the roofies before you meet up on Craigslist. You got some regular TP for your bunghole? So I don't know if you're familiar with this product right here. They don't, it won't be called a brown eye anymore. It'll be a clear eye. You know what I'm talking about, bro? So this is for you. The next time you take a dump and your fingers are on your butthole, I want you to think of the one-man thrill ride. Can we take a look around at the overwhelming mediocrity that's occurring right now? Nobody is drunk. Nobody is having fun. This is the pussification of America. I want to see people wearing red, white, and blue with a blood alcohol level of 2.5. There's nobody who's even remotely intoxicated at this point. Oh my God, they're bringing children to this thing. I gotta ask you a question, are you smashing scrambies this morning? I, I eat a dozen scrambies every morning, scramby eggs, bro. You gotta get that protein, that's how you peak at 18. Mm, pow, right there, let me see what you got. It's a work in progress. Do I have to? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna smash a meatball. You're gonna smash a meatball. We're gonna high five and then we're gonna do a push up contest. And here's to NASCAR nation, like an absolute savage. Now, today, how the stages will work out. Stage 1 will end on lap 50, stage 2, lap 100, and stage 3, lap 160. So 160 is the end of the race. You like you're like an encyclopedia of knowledge when it comes to NASCAR. Yeah. Would you say you're like the Rain Man of NASCAR? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Rain Man of NASCAR. Are you familiar with Tom Brady? Yeah, I heard of Tom Brady. Do you like my TB12 inch shirt? I like your TB12 inch shirt. You know. You if you want to come up on the motor home roof, buddy, you are you can be my guest. I will let you sit in my chair and teach you everything about the race today. I wish I knew how to quit you. Here it is. If you get sweaty out here and you need a little bit of protection, it's 24 hour stank protection. 24 hour stank protection. Hey, that's perfect. You'll be tingling, you'll be flipping, you'll be flopping, you'll be dry, it'll be fantastic. Brought to you by Dude Powder. So when you wipe your butt, can you do me a favor? Can you think about me? Um, I won't go that far. I might think about my wife. Wait a minute. These dweebs are shooting marshmallows at me. We are an hour away from the race. I have no good content because everybody's a bunch of sissy Nancy. We got a little bunch of toddlers shoot marshmallows at me. We need to fire up the slip and slide. I'm ready to friggin' attack the slip and slide. Lots of drunk, intoxicated, absolute savages. Instead, I'm taking a look at a bunch of prepubescent little boys who got sunken chest cavities that I could eat four bowls of cocoa puffs out of, acting like absolute tool bags and absolute nerd boys. Where are the strippers and the cocaine? Why aren't they 
splash and titty. This has been a total debacle, a total disgrace. NASCAR has cuckolded the pussification of America, and I need to find somebody who's gonna take this event from average to absolute savage. Let's go, we need to find people. Are you guys drunk yet? They're drinking, are you guys drinking? No, here we go, here we go. We found somebody. We got guys who are actually partying at NASCAR, like they're absolutely supposed to. You wanna do this? Um. No, I'm gonna yeah. let you sit back. I'm gonna do this. Fuck shotgun beer. I like this guy. We got a timer on that? That was pretty good. That was beautiful. Bonus points for doing Keystone, because that's like drinking poison. Are you planning on delivering an injection of genetic perfection to any fine-ass female flus here at NASCAR here today? Yes, that's what you gotta do. And you must, before you strike it, you wipe it with dude wipes. Right here, right now. The dude douche is the next product in the pipeline. It's gonna be a big Q4, like an absolute savvy. Yeah! Yes! Are you guys drunk? I hope so, you're driving. What is this? Mango Bango! We found some life at NASCAR, baby! Yes, these NASCAR motherfuckers, they're pussies! They don't got shit on us! We're the best crew right here, this side of the fucking Mississippi! That's what I'm gonna, can I get a hell yeah? What are they breaking out right now? Oh, that's powerful. That's gonna take you to the next level of right now. It is gluten free. And it burns on the way down like chlamydia, man! <laughs> Strong as fuck! This is worse than a straight up moonshine. Oh! Oh! Fuck it, don't correct me with a good time. I'm gonna immediately regret that decision. <laughs>